Hey, what's up guys? Good evening. Good evening and welcome back. Welcome to London, the London heliport. We are getting ready in the new um, Bell 222. Can't remember the name of the developer. C something. Can't remember which one it is guys, sorry. But this is my new payware helicopter that I bought earlier on today. So we are at the London heliport. We're going to be flying along to the uh, Royal London Hospital to pick up our medical team and then we're going to be responding out to an incident in Slough. In fact, we might be going straight from Slough from here. Welcome back, Danny boy. Good to see you, young man. Welcome back. Commander's here as well. Welcome, guys. Welcome on board. Right. Uh, yeah, we'll probably just go straight to the incident then rather than flying out to the Royal London Hospital and then coming all the way back. It's not really a huge amount of point in doing that, so... Because we're not coming in from RAF Norfolk, so let me untangle these wires. Oh, looks good. Right. So, we have the new Bell 222 here, guys. This is actually the same aircraft from the television show Airwolf. It's the same one. It's very well done. It's good. I really I really like it so far. I think the, the sound, unfortunately, was a big letdown. The, the sound isn't anywhere near good as the sound that's done on the the gazelle but uh, yeah it's not too bad it's not too bad so I'll show you where we're responding to we're going very close to London Heathrow we're heading out to Slough sunny Slough guys we're responding to a male burn victim a man has suffered serious burns out here in Slough so we're quite close to Heathrow airport so we're going to be a bit of coordination sweeping the nation on that one. Oh, what's that oh waypoints I don't know why I've done that can I delete that Oh, never mind. I know where I'm going. I'll leave that there. All right, let's get you guys back on board. What's up, Pablo? When I try to fly my helicopter, it just shoots up and keeps spinning right. Press the left pedal. <laughs> you generally, when you're taking off and landing in a helicopter, Pablo, watch my hand. So watch the pedals. You always have to have pedal in, sir. Always. It's not like an airplane where you don't have to, it'll just fly straight and level. Helicopters are not like that, sir. You always have to either have left pedal or right pedal in all the time when you're taking off and landing. Hey, Oscar, welcome along. All right, let's get a battery in here. Battery is up. Uh, Heathrow Director is online. 119725.1192. And let's check the eight. Delay five one turn left heading two two zero degrees. Left heading two two zero. Speed rate seven. All right. I'll tell you what. We'll. I don't know where the volume switch is for this just yet. Speed rate five one. Speed two two zero knots. Speed two two zero. Speed rate seven. Can I move five zero? Let it show with me. Oh, that's my navigation ADF radio. I don't know where the volume switches are. All right, we'll just leave that for now. We'll get the aircraft started up, and then we'll we'll contact that guy. All right, so we need the fuel prime. We need the fuel valves open for engine number one. We also need the fuel prime switch on for engine, engine one. Range two six miles two seven right center two five thousand Same for engine two. I just got off that radio for now. Um, right, the next thing we want is seatbelts. And we want the anti collision and the position lights. Full fuel valves are open. The rotor brake, make sure that is checked off. It should start moving. If it's windy, is it definitely off? Nope. Right now it's off, yep, and that starts sliding around. Um, hydraulics, yep, we know about the DC generators, inverters, that is all okay, and the transmission oil, that is fine. Alright, we'll take the number one hydraulic system and the number two hydraulic system, and just quickly check the controls are sound. Out. Yep, force trim on. And I believe we are ready to start the engine, the first engine, guys. 
yeah, I'm pretty confident that we're good now. So let's go engine number one. I'm looking for 11% on NG. Hey, Anik, welcome along. What's up, Sean? All right, we can take a little bit of power. Now we're looking for 700 degrees on the gas turbine temperature. Seven hundred. Up to idle stop. There it is. Clicks. Hey, Wes is here on YouTube as well. Good evening, Wes. My main man, Wes. Love this guy. Hey, Ekipus, good to see you, sir. It's been a little while. Take that website down, bro. You're a bigger man than that, Ekipus. He's only a child as well. You might have lost sight of that, young man. He's only he's a he's a child compared to you, young man. So I wouldn't judge him too harshly. Alright, well, where's engine number two? It's here somewhere. Well, let's go two. And again, same drill, we're looking for 11%. It's gone. Good lad, Eki Poos. I knew, you. I knew you were one of the good ones, big dog. I knew you were one of the good ones. Hey, Mac Vision's here as well. Good to see you, Macker. You would like this helicopter, Eki Poos. This is like a nice, like, small, big helicopter, if that makes any sense. It feels like the Gazelle, but it's got the power of the Augusta. Yeah, exactly bro, exactly Egbert. What's done is done. Alright, um, I didn't put any fuel in the aircraft, sorry guys. I'm not used to... Uh, Having to do this. Um, total fuel. Ah, now we're in 40. Done. Alright, DC generators. One, two. Inverters now are here somewhere. One and two. All the master warning panels are off. Reset the master warning. We'll check the master warning panel now. And they all go out. Nice. It's only like 20 quid, Egbert. I'll be honest, dude, the, the sound model... The sound model is nowhere near as good as the Gazelle. But so far, I've had a lot of fun flying it. It's been... It's been pretty cool. Right, let me just have a look here and check that stuff's on that should be on. I want the buses on. Interconnected bus 1 and the bus 2. Don't need that. I can turn off the fuel primer for engine one and engine two. I'm pretty sure that's all for that now. So now we just throttle up. So now we have um, both engines in the green. MGTs both in the green. We have engine oil in the green for both engines. Hydraulic pressures in the green for both engines. We just need to rotor RPM in the green band. So we're going to go past the idle stop now. Rotor up. Should bring it back down. And again with engine two, idle stop, throttle up. Now they should catch each other here. Yeah, see how they're both sinking together? And now we have the RPM in a green band. Hey, Aif, welcome back. And Clario's back on YouTube as well. Welcome, guys. Hey, Maverick, how do you go around getting clearance to land in the middle of a street in controlled airspace? Yeah. You'll see, you'll see, William. I'm, that's exactly what I'm about to do, bro. <laughs> so just watch, dude. All right, let's get back on the radio. Oh, no, it's not working. Fuck it. I'll just do it in here. Dot com one 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 nine seven two five. 
Alright, there's no AS available. Fucking idiots. 1009, I'll write this down. There's a QNH for Gatwick. Uh, I'll contact this guy once we're up. Alright, park and brake off. Park and brake's off. Clear on the left, clear on the right. Then we've got to try and ground taxi forward. I hate doing this. Alright, here we go. Hey, Dagger's back, welcome. Egbert says, ah, the, the sound's a bummer, but it's fixable, I'd be messing around with... Yeah, and I think there's going to be another update for this, Egbert. There's going to be like another... Um, update, hopefully soon. I'm, I hope he redoes the sound. Right, the wind is 140 at 4 knots. I hate trying to ground taxi helicopters, it's horrible. Alright. He hasn't said that update. He hasn't said that he's updating his sounds, but I hope he will. Right. I wonder. This guy might pass me back to London. Let's have, a quick, let's have a quick check in with him. Hey for director, good evening, Heli Med 27 Alpha. Heli Med 27 Alpha, Listen how fucking happy he sounds! <laughs> Hello sir, Heli Med 27 Alpha. There's no AS available sir, but we have the uh, QNH 1009er. We're with you at the London Heliport. We're uh, responding to an Alpha call in Slough and we'd like to enter controlled airspace westbound on Hotel 4 and Hotel 10. Seven alpha. All right. He's you can usually tell how much helicopter experience a controller's got by the, the tone of voice he uses to answer you. Did you hear that? <laughs> he's like, oh, Heli Med two seven alpha. You can do it, sir. Oh, this guy doesn't forget about me. Wouldn't be the first time. I'll squawk more Charlie to see if I can get his attention. 7,000 transponders on and squawk mode Charlie set. Expect approach to now, heading hey, reach drivers back on YouTube. Good to see you, sir. I've been living a dream, my friend. I hope you're well, too. Just waiting to get some goddamn clearance. Level 
Eggbert on YouTube says, to be fair, it doesn't sound terrible, it just doesn't hold a candle to itself. The problem is, when we're flying, this is the sort of same sound, the sound doesn't really change. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give this guy fairly more seconds, and then I'm just gonna fucking enter control of the airspace. Fuck him. He doesn't sound like he knows what he's doing with helicopters anyway. And I don't know why he would have me waiting this long. Hey, Moonchild, welcome back. Rory Sangs, welcome back as well. Right, let's get the nose up. Uh, okay, and fuck it, we'll just get off any ground effect here. Who knows any wind? We'll come back. Cat, cat, uh, Alpha. I'm just going to tell this guy what I'm doing rather than ask him for I don't know why he's fucking keeping me waiting so long. Hey Liam. Welcome. Alright, away we go. Alright guys, we're heading to Slough. We've got a, a male burn victim. A man has suffered, a man has suffered serious burns after entering a burning building to save his child who has collapsed due to smoke inhalation. The man is in critical, critical condition and needs to be airlifted to hospital straight away. So we're going to slow, guys. Oh, I didn't work. Oh, I didn't put force trim on, did I? No, I did. I did. Stick forward, force, trim, press and hold, let it go. I got it. Director Helimed 27 Alpha, we've lifted from the heliport, sir. We're now transiting westbound for Hotel 4. Helimed 27 Roger, Hedrick NH1009, and I'm going to go back This is my main complaint with it, Eki Poos. The sound just sucks. The, uh, the sound doesn't really change. I'm not hearing any blade slap. Nothing. Hey, Lewis, welcome on YouTube. And Lo Chung's back on YouTube as well. Welcome, guys. My main man Fearless is in here as well. Good to see you, big dog. We're heading to Slough. We're going to be um, rescuing a male burn victim out on the west side of Heathrow Airport. We're heading west on helicopter lane 10 right now, Hotel 10. Rory says on YouTube, burning more fuel while they keep you waiting. Yeah, unfortunately. Quite a lot of ex controllers don't really have experience controlling helicopters, so sometimes it can take a lot longer to get stuff done. This is Q Bridge coming up in Gunnersby Park in front of us. This is where we're going to pass the the threshold for the both runways at Heathrow. Uh, two seven left and right. We're passing the thresholds now. 
Yeah, this Brentford Q Bridge, yeah, I'm on the right place. William Morris asks, do you have moving maps for your charts or are you doing it by eyes? Um, a little bit of both, dude. I have a moving map below my main gaming monitor, so I can always see where I am. And I have my charts on a different screen on the right hand side. What's up, Pixie, you buster? Good to see you, sir. Thanks for the subscription, Liam. Welcome to the channel. Sorry, just confirm which uh, helicopter route do you, uh, did you want to follow? Uh, we're currently westbound on Hotel 10, sir. We need Hotel 10 for Uxbridge, and then we'll be leaving Ivor Heath for Slough, LMA 27 Alpha. I have a two seven one. Roger. Yeah, Egbert, the forward visibility out of the aircraft is not fantastic, but. The autopilot is amazing. The autopilot is very good. Uh, Rory says on Friday I flew the Eurocopter 120, the 120 from Gatwick to South End, and Tower told me to take runway 08 right instead of a straight out departure. That's actually quite common. <coughs> Excuse me. That's actually quite common, especially on VATSIM. I love how I'm just YOLOing through controlled airspace here. This guy hasn't even given me any clearance yet. Get okay, the old pilot on. Hello, Mr. Sir. Sorry, you cleared that bridge by obviously Tango 10. And uh, the report is behind that bridge. Controlled airspace via Hotel 10. Welcome to Uxbridge for Hillman 270. What's going on here? Why is this happening? Continue right turn heading now to 40 degrees, but establish recognize the 27 right, we've got that Continue right says currently revising for a biology test but enjoying watching the stream. <laughs> Just flying over RAF Norfolk. This is actually where the Hems helicopters are based for London. That's where they start their shift from. That's where we started this morning. We have 18 minutes to find our casualty. No, sir. Ivor Heath and then leaving Ivor Heath for Slough. Two seven alpha, we're leaving Uxbridge for slow at this thing. Hotel ten and report passing Ivor. 
Slough Hotel 10, vocal for Ivor, hotel, on Hotel 10 for Helimed 270. Hey Jose, welcome along. I'm very well, thank you young man, thanks for asking. Eddie Stewart's also joined us, or Eddie Swartz, sorry, on uh, YouTube. Even sir, watching the stream from South Africa. Welcome along, my friend. Greetings from Scotland. Roger, welcome. The fuck? Rory says, your next plane looks superb. It does look very good, dude. It does look very, very good. I spent a lot of money on it. It should look good. <laughs> I have spent a lot of money on it. Element 27 Alpha, Ivor Heath for slow. Alright, where's my man William or somebody? Someone was... 27 Alpha. Um, so basically all I'm going to do is we're going to find the accident and then we're just going to tell them that we're going to land. We're just going to say, hell... He, 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 Heathrow Director, Helimed 27 Alpha, we're setting down at Slough. Or Helimed 27 Alpha, landing at this time at Slough. Or something, words to those effects. That's a Slough coming up in front of us now. The incident's somewhere here. We have 15 minutes to find it. Alright, I'll take over from the autopilot now. Sure, Walker on YouTube says, have I given up on the Augusta 139? No, sir. I just wanted to try something a bit new. A bit, a bit different. This is the Airwolf helicopter we're flying. All right, it should be right around here. Heathrow Director, LMA 27 Alpha, we're arriving on scene at Slough. We'll be landing shortly. We should be on the ground for about three or four minutes. 27 Alpha. Oh! Peter, thanks for joining the Captain's Club. Thank you very much, sir. Welcome. What a gentleman. My main man, Peter Essa. He was the guy that actually told me about this aircraft this morning. Oh, I see it. I see it, guys. I see it. Look. Just there. All right, I'll start really slowing down now. Trim reset. I'll take that now. The wind is 140 at 11 knots. Right, where was that? It was over here somewhere. I'll take the gear down. There it is there. Rory's asking me, am I getting the AS335? I've never heard of it, my friend. Maybe send me a link in Discord or something, I will check that out. I'm going to come in sideways to the wind and then turn back in towards it. I'm not really coming in at a good angle here for it, so... I'm just going to take my time and have a look. I've not really had a good flyby over the area, so I don't know if there's any wires or anything, so... We're just going to come in a little bit of a hover stop about here and have a look at this. I'll probably crab my way in. Doesn't look great. Probably maybe landing on the road. I am not sure. The gear is down. We'll start working the nose into wind a little bit here now. The wind is coming at 11 knots, so it's it's not huge, but it's not insignificant. There's one, two, zero. I can kind of land in there. There's a big pole right there. I could get past that and then. I think that's the best way to do it, guys. Down there, right on the grass. Alright, stop here. I'll just stabilise here for a little second. I'll get my bearings, find out what the aircraft wants to do. Alright, let's crab our way in here. Don't go too far because I've seen there was a big massive tree in the left-hand side. So right now I'm looking at that fire engine. I can see the tree, I sort of concentrated on the tree, but my main focus is on the fire engine. 
and I'm just gently moving the aircraft to the right, allowing her to just descend very gently. There's a big tree in front of me, so I don't want to go any further forward. We'll come down here. Big pole on the right hand side behind us, which is fine. I don't want to come further forward than that, it's a little bit too close, bro. Settle down here. Alright, just settle in the ground effect, let the aircraft get into that cushion, and then bring a little bit more collective off, and then let her just settle down when she's ready. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, and we're down, the main gear is down. Settle the nose wheel down there. Should have I forgot to put the parking brake on before we landed, but that's okay. We've done alright there. Whoa! Pretty close to the tree, but we're okay. Very close to that tree, but we're just okay. Our medical crew is picking up the patient. Please wait. Roger that. <laughs> Lewis on YouTube says, God, imagine being so ignorant and choosing to crash in a place that is difficult for the helicopter to land. I know, right? Right, the patient has been sedated and is loaded on board the aircraft. We are ready to go. Get to the hospital as fast as you can. Don't worry about the bumpy ride. The patient won't feel a thing. It's more important to be fast than smooth on this one. Roger that. Is there an MH6 Little Bird Ambulance? Asks Jose on uh, YouTube. I don't think so, sir. The honest answer is I'm not sure. Director Helimate 27 Alpha. Hello again, sir. We're ready to go from Slough with information. Kalo would like to enter controlled airspace on track for the Royal London Hospital eastbound on Hotel 10 and Hotel 4. Alpha Roger, we're lifting for Slough on track Royal London, Hotel 10, Hotel 4, and Wilco 4 Ivor 27 Alpha. Right. How'd I shut this feckin' door? Bro, how do we shut the door? I don't have any click spots anywhere. How do I do this? Doors. Is there a door switch up here? Nope, I am going to have to just get this. Oh, this is stupid. Right, hold on one sec. Graphics, turn off track IR. Alright, I'll never open the door again. There we go. Back in. Track IR back on. Alright, let's go. Alright, trim's been reset. We're clear on the left, we're clear on the right. Flight idle is selected. We are ready to go. Don't go left, Maverick. Do not go left. Nose up. Get a little wheelie just like in the, uh, the 139 before takeoff. The aircraft wants to take off at this attitude. Alright, let's go. Throttle's coming up nice and easy. A little bit left pedal and up we go. Stabilise. Do not move left. And we're going to come back. Sorry, do not move right. We're going to come back and left. Back we go. Nose in the wind.
All right, we'll come forward and left here, with the nose down, bank slightly to the left, keep the nose down, left pedal in, left pedal, left pedal, left pedal, left pedal, roll out, nose forward, collective up, start to neutralize the pedal now. All right, pedals are centered, we are airborne. Alright, we'll roll out and we'll take a force trim here. So roll out, nice and stable. Press and hold, force trim, centre, release. There we go. We'll work on some trim. I'll get my hand off the collective, we'll get some autopilots in. Oh, that little tone's telling me that I'm getting in the yellow band for the... the torque limit on the throttle. Not the throttle, the torque limit on the rotor. Let's get up to above 500 feet, which we're at now. Alright, trim is feeling good. We'll go for altitude hold. And we'll get the heading indicator set up for coming left. Gears coming up. Element two seven alpha Iver Heath. Wasted ass on YouTube. Mav, is it? Uh, uh, what is your opinion on the IR tracker? Do you think it's worth the price? Yes. You don't need to buy track IR though. You can buy. There's lots of different alternatives for it. Is that fucking thing even on? Um, there's a lot of cheaper alternatives in track IR, but track IR is definitely worth the price, my friend. Definitely. Director Helimed 27 Alpha, our patient isn't doing so well, sir. If possible, we'd like to go direct to the Royal London Hospital from Perryville. Direct Royal London, many thanks. 27 Alpha. Okay, we have um, 26 minutes to get there, which is plenty of time. The controller's been very nice and given us direct to the Royal London Hospital which is just over here where these high-rise buildings are. So we're basically on a direct heading at the moment. At the moment. Great autopilot on this aircraft. Hey, Michael. Hey, Mav. Sorry I couldn't come to the stream early. Hey, don't apologize, bro. Don't apologize. Never apologize, bro. I'm just glad you could make it. Welcome. You were at training, Roger, that big dog. Hey, cue that music, says Ciao d'Italia. Ciao, my friend, welcome. Sorry, I don't speak Italian. Yes, it's a great aircraft, but unfortunately, doesn't sound anywhere near as good as the Gazelle. Thanks to Lerner for becoming a subscriber on the YouTube channel. Welcome, big dog. 
Thanks again to Peter Essa for becoming a YouTube sponsor, aka a YouTube member. God damn it, Pete. Thanks, big dog. Alright, we don't have far to go until the hospital. Uh, it's just up here. We're going to get a little bit more altitude, actually. Well, we're just at about 500 feet now. I'll take the old pilot back in. In real life, they don't like you flying below 500 feet in a no, rescue helicopter. 1008. No, just heading. Just heading, please, thank you. Right, 1008 is the new QNH. Hey, MJ says, hey from Denmark, first time here, nice with the role play in the helicopter, thank you very much sir, welcome to the stream, we're actually using the helicopter rescue mission mod, so we, we get like ambulances and fire engines and people all spawned at the accident location, so we fly out to where the incident was, pick up the casualty and then bring the casualty back to hospital, it's a great little mod, you can check it out from charityscenery.co.uk guys, you can get the the UK Air Ambulance mod, which is what we're flying right now. Let her rip, big dog. 260 knots. Liam says this is so cool. It is pretty cool, my friend. It's great fun. It is great fun. Oh, flying straight towards the BT tower. Shield Maiden on YouTube says, I thought the site was flat, but it looks quite real. I actually have Payware Scenery, my friend. I have a Payware Scenery program called Orbex. Orbex. And this is the Orbex South package that we have. Next to see the Houses of Parliament just over here. There's Big Ben. There's the London Wheel. The London Eye. Michael asks, how's the house getting on? Really well, bro. I'm all settled in. All packed and settled now. Director Helimay 27 Alpha, we have the Royal London Insight. Oh, gear down. Helimay 27 Alpha, you're clear to land on the hospital and QNH 108, wind's currently indicating 13 degrees 12. 27 Alpha. Alright, wind's coming from 130 at 12 knots. Hit that like button if you're enjoying watching the stream on YouTube, guys. Hit that like button, it really helps me out. 
If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It's free. Doesn't cost you anything. Alright, trim has been reset through 100 knots. The gear is checked down. Coming in way too fast. Start bleeding this right off. Uh, the co controller's doing fine now, mate. I think it might be a different one, I'm not sure. Coming up to dead man's curve here. Alright, nose is more or less any wind. Happy with this crab angle here. Okay, the gear is checked now. I'm going to come, keep coming in crabbing at this angle, a little gusty wind, that's okay. Happy with the rate of descent, happy with the forward speed. So it's a left sided pad, now we're going to start crabbing to the right a little bit just to centre up on the landing spot. Get ready to come settle into ground effect here. Alright, arrest the forward momentum, settle into ground effect. There it is, and let her touch on down. Okay, the main gear is down, and we'll take the nose down now. Nose is down. Easy on the collective. I took the I took the collective off a little bit too quick there. Sorry, the cyclic. I centered the cyclic a little bit too early there. Freaks are on. All right, we are. We've made it. Absolutely great work, pilot. That poor father would have would have had no chance if he was to go by road ambulance. Now it looks like his daughter will be able to thank her hero in person. Well done, you're goddamn right. Alright, let's get another one. Let's find out where in the world we're going. Hey, Jamie Coyle, thank you so much for the subscription on YouTube. Also, shout out to my man Ryan Foster Flight Channel. Welcome along, young man. MG True DK, so thanks for the sub. Right Learner Zek, thanks for the sub. Welcome, guys. Turn right three zero five and report will close established two seven right. Moving on Delta Lima, turn left heading two three zero degrees. Two three zero degrees. Should have to speed up front Delta Lima. Director Helmet two seven Alpha will be heading out to the east for our next. Uh, sorry, thanks for your help, sir. We'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Alright, London 129425.com1. Right, we are responding. Romeo, I'm going to leave the Bournemouth control zone to the east via Stony Cross, not above altitude 2000 feet VFR. Scope 4314, Kenich 1006. Hey, thanks, Shield Maiden. Right, this guy hasn't read back. London Control, good evening, Helium 27 Alpha. Well, by uh, Sorry, by Alpha, runway 08, clear take off, wind 140 degrees, 14 knots. Okay, clear for take off, runway 08, wind 140 degrees, 14 knots. I can't hear any pilots talking on this channel. Oh, there we go. London, good evening. Hello, Med 27 Alpha. Easy 
Ryanair 96 Delta Romeo, monitor Unicom 122 decimal 8, bye bye. Monitor Unicom Ryanair 96 Delta Romeo, bye bye, thank you. And a station calling before, say again. It's Helimed 27 Alpha, sir. We're with you on the Royal London Hospital. We're responding to an Alpha call in South Auckenden. We'd like to enter controlled airspace via the Thames barrier eastbound on Hotel 10. Thames barrier eastbound on Hotel 10. Roger, clear to enter the city control zone from the east, not up above altitude 1,500 feet VFR, QNH 1009. Not above 1,500 feet, VFR 1009, we are lifting from Royal London now, Helium 27 Alpha. Helium 27 Alpha, thanks. And uh, when you get airborne, squawk 0431. Fucking knew he was going to say that. 0431 for 27 Alpha, coming up. Uh, do it properly, Maverick, just land and set it. And uh, then Ryanair 981 is direct, battery or the Sierra Tango uniform, from VOR possible. Uh, Ryanair 981, I'll need to coordinate it, but if you give me two minutes, I'll, you know, I'll try direct stumble for you. Alright, 0, 4, 3, 1, set. Alright, let's go. Much better, much easier to do that on the ground than when you're in the air trying to fly. Alright, left pedal and up, stabilise. We'll come back and left. Yeah, thanks for joining us guys, if you're new to the stream, or even if you're not new to the stream, if you're someone that keeps coming back all the time, welcome. Alright, gear's coming up. I know, I know we're below 500 feet, god damn it. Alright, we are through ETL, flying away. Do you have the ex... It's a collective, uh, Pablo. We use it as a collective, my friend. London Element 27 Alpha, we're airborne entering Hotel 10, eastbound with 0431. We just like to route eastbound on Hotel 10, sir, past the Thames Barrier and then out to an Alpha call at South Auckenden near the Dartford Crossing, 27 Alpha. Helimed 27, Roger. Eighteen minutes to get there, should be fine. Alan Charles, fire five five eight three is on the hold off for one fully ready. Fire five five eight three, thanks fire for my seven nine clear takeoff. MG asks on YouTube, what is squat codes? Basically it's a code that I put in the aircraft that makes me show up on his radar screen. 
So he gave me a squat code of 0431. So you'll give another aircraft a code, for example, of 0432. So that he can tell who's who. He can identify us. Roger, sir. Just pass over the Thames now. As far as I'm aware, we're way past London Bridge. We're now heading eastbound towards the Dartford Crossing. Okay, Roger, I just a bit further east than I thought, thought you were. Okay, um, if you report the Darford Crossing then, um, which service will you require in Slight Control Airspace? Element 27 Alpha, Roger that for the Darford Crossing. Just a basic service, please. Traffic, traffic, massive fucking traffic. Hey, Dusty, we are on that side. We are indeed, sir. Hey, Azad on YouTube, this is not my friend, this is called X-Plane 11, this game. X-Plane 11. Alright, this incident should be around here somewhere. Oh, I see, I see flashing lights over there. There it is there, yeah. London Helimed 27 Alpha, we're arriving on scene at the Dartford Crossing. We'll be landing and should be calling for departure in about five minutes. Helimed 27, Roger. Alright, there is our incident scene right there, guys. Those two, car cra two cars have crashed into each other. The wind is 130 at 11. So we're going to come around. Alright, cheeky trim reset is Go in there. Bravo, Romeo, thanks. Good to cross the Dartford Crossing and extend the centre line. Half altitude 1,500 feet, report Bishop's Walton. Alright, gear down. Alright, the wind is 130. So 
we'll, go, we'll fly over a little bit to the east and then we'll turn right towards it. We have 12 minutes to land, so there's not any major rush. Alright, the nose is in the wind now. Up to this point, uh, KLM 379, two change, Alright, let's have a look. Alright, 5 6 November, uh, passing 5800 uh, for a frame departure. Alright, I think we're going to land next to the ambulance there on the grass on our side of the road. The initial altitude was 5,000 feet. Stop climb. So I'll keep crabbing in here. The nose is in the wind, so I'll just crab forward and right. Uh, stop uh, climb 130 and uh, apologies for the mistake on the uh, altitude there. Sounds like a nice old man. Flyer 55 X ray with the red coxie. Fly coxie now, I just want to come left a little bit so I can see. Try and get as close to this tree as I can without actually hitting the fucking tree. I know this building's on the left, so I don't want to get too low until I'm close enough to the tree. Right now I know that I'm definitely in the open. I'll put the nose back into wind. And we'll stabilise the ground effect. Alright, this ground effect there. Stabilise. And bring her down. Main gears down. Uh, across the extended centre line. And nose wheel is down. Gently lower the collective. Collective is idle. Gently centre the side click and release the pedal. Wizard 201, contact London 126 decibel 075. Goodbye. 5-6 November, redirect Dagger, climb platable 250. Hey, Salim. Uh, speed, speedbird 5-6 November, say again. Hey, Vinny, welcome along. Speedbird 5-6 November, redirect to Dagger, climb flight level 250. Direct to Dagger, uh, flight level 250. Let's go drink some coffee real quick. Speedbird 5-6 November. Take care, Dagger. Thanks for stopping by, sir. All right, the patient is on board but is in a bad way. Try to get to the hospital as quick as you can without making the flight too bumpy. Roger. Oh, you've literally just disappeared from the list. A squawk 0667. Squawk 0667. Just check the squawk 0667. Yeah, 0667. Okay. Is passing 55,500 feet at 600, uh, 279. Straight back, we're going. So, Air France 1089. Ian O'Gara, thanks for the subscription, my friend. Same day, Jamie Coyle, a couple of Irish sounding gentlemen there. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the YouTube operation. London Control, Helimed 27 Alpha, we're ready to lift from the Dartford Crossing for Royal London, eastbound, correction, westbound on Hotel 10. Uh, Helimed 27 Alpha, Roger. It's, uh, it'll be via Hotel 4 from that position there. You're about yeah, to, right, sorry. to the east to join Hotel 10. Hotel 10 would begin at Barnes. Um, so, quick time to London Control's on routing westbound Hotel 4. And uh, standard operating altitudes for Port Isle of Dogs. Apologies, westbound on Hotel 4 for Royal London. Uh, standard operating altitude 1009 and uh, Wilco Isle of Dogs for 27 Alpha. Alright, nose up. This is parking brake definitely on. 6 November, could you give me Dagger phonetically, please? I can't find it in my. Uh 
waypoints. It's at the very end of the start. Delta Alpha, Golf Golf Alpha. Alright, left pedal and... Uh, roger, Delta Alpha, Golf Golf Alpha. Thank you. Speedbird 307 is in Alesso, one hotel arrival for Heathrow. Descend when ready, flight level 180 to be leveled by FBAC. Wes is off to go and fly the A10C. Nice. Enjoy that, dude. Thanks for stopping by, Wes. Hey, Sah Shahara, Shahara Zadi, what a brilliant name. Climb flight level two, five, Take care, zero, my friend. Average aviation geek on YouTube says, imagine doing a Cobra with the patient on board. I mean, he'd die, but he'd have the time of his life. Eh. He's heavily sedated, sir, so I'm not sure he would even know about it. Alright, gears up. Get the old pilot in. Flyer 55 X ray monitor, correction, contact you with control master, 135 decibel 450, goodbye. 135450, fly 55 X ray, good day, sir. Speedbird 56 November, monitor unicode 122 decimal 8, bye bye. 122 decimal 8, speedbird 56 November. Golf Bravo, right now, overhead, Bishop's Hawthorne. Uh, go off Bravo Romeo, Roger, basic service, uh, report the Mentors to VOR. Basic service, report the Mentors to VOR, go off Bravo Romeo. Right, so we're heading back into London, that's London City Airport right there. There is the Thames Barrier, which is where we're going to enter Hotel 4. Uh, Tehran 153, London, hello, decent, flight level 990. Decent, flight level 990. Negative, flight level 990, 90, 9000 feet. London Helimed 27 Alpha, if possible, sir, can we have direct to Royal London Hospital from the Thames Barrier? Uh, yep, Helimed 27, that's approved. Report the Royal London Hospital. 27 Alpha, welcome. Alright, Royal London's on the other side of these high rise buildings here. Go for Bravo Romeo, there's no further altitude restrictions. Keep going at 
We can please confirm that the ILS frequency for runway 27 right is 110.13. No, remain on this frequency for the moment. That's not what I asked. <laughs> no, I just asked for the ILS frequency of runway 27 right for landing. Oh, sorry, I don't know. You'll need to check the chart. In the chart is 110.13. I just wanted to make sure it's this. I was in the chart, bro. Yeah, you don't need to fucking ask the controller, kid. Helimate <laughs> 27 Alpha, Royal London. Helimate 27 Alpha, thanks. My service terminates, folks. 7,000. Okay, cons. We'll just forget that. 7,000, 27 Alpha, many thanks. What was I trying to say? Conspicuity. I hate trying to say that word. Alright, gear down. Alright, the wind is 130, so I'm just positioning the aircraft so that I can approach with my nose in the wind. Frank sees me on that spy, Roger, that. Coming up to Dead Man's Curve here. There's 50 knots. There's 40 knots. Alright, the gear is checked down. Clermont 153, reservoir navigation, direct begin, Bravo with the Golf. The nose is now in the wind. The Echo India Golf is on navigation. Bravo India Golf, B I G. I love it when you Direct call me Big Bravo Papa. Yeah, a Alright, approach the left side of the pad. And now uh, we'll start to crab right so we can get into the middle of the landing zone now. And get ready to settle into ground effect. Settle down. And we'll take the left wheel down first. Touching down. Alright, the main gear's down. And gently place the nose wheel down. Gently release the collective. Center of the cyclic. Center of the pedals. We're down. Oh, we are down. Nice job, the trauma team said the patient has a great chance of making it since you got him here so quickly. Great work, thank you very much. Hey, oh, hey Cloud, welcome along my friend. We've just done two rescues, I think that's going to be all for the rescues. I think we're just going to transit back to RAF Norfolk now. How long have I been streaming? An hour and 15 minutes. Time is it? Quarter past nine, feeling fine. London Helimet 27 Echo. We're uh, with you at the Royal London. We'd like to transit controlled airspace for RAF Norfolk, westbound on Hotel 4, Hotel 10. Okay, Hotel Central Control Zone, routine Hotel 4, Hotel 10, westbound, standard operating altitude, VFR, QNH 107, and the squawk remains the same. Okay, westbound on Hotel 4, Hotel 10 for RAF Northfall, uh, standard operating altitude, VFR 1007, the squawk 0431 for 27 Echo. Two seven two zero correction will go to seven echo. Air France one zero eight one, there's no French online, you're gonna come one two two eight, yeah. Two zero two seven, I think you said. 
Delta, your control master, 135, decibel 45, zero, goodbye. 135, decibel 45, zero, goodbye. Hey, Cloud, thanks for the subscription. Uh, Tyrom 153, maintain flight level 70, stop descending flight level 70. Maintaining 70. Okay, it's around 153, contact Heath Road of Exeter, 119, that's above 725. It's around 153, contact Heath Road of Exeter, 119, that's above 725. 27 Echo Airborne for London Bridge. to the volume. Michael on YouTube says, how long are you going to stream tonight? I'm probably just going to fly to RAF Norfolk, bro, and that's going to be it for today. I think I'm going to go and watch some golf. Watch some golf, bro. Shouldn't take us long to get to RAF Norfolk, guys. It's only like a 10 minute flight. That's MI5, that's where James Bond works down there. <coughs> oh, I got a really dry cough. I'm not sick or anything. Just because I'm sitting in a really warm, stuffy room, I got a bit of a cough. Cloud says, I love your show. Thank you very much, young man. That's very kind of you. Flight control, top set for 172. I'm actually not working at the moment, Michael. I've got a couple of weeks off. I'm sort of in between jobs right now. Sorry, the top jet call sign, what was the call sign? That was uh, top jet for 172, that's back with you. Uh, hello. Oh, Gatwick's gone Yep, uh, Gatwick is off and we're on the uh, Mayfield uh, Hall right now, it's been uh, 45 minutes, I think we'll need an extra 30 minutes of time we get a bit uh, low on fuel there so we can have a uh, correct landing way to London to uh, Gatwick, so uh, I'll call you back when uh, we uh, we are... Couple of airs in this transmission. To, uh, ...before we're landing in Gatwick. Roger. There's London Heliport down there, guys. Yeah, CharityScenery.co.uk You can get that scenery for one pound. All the money raised goes to charity, guys. We're doing good things. CharityScenery.co.uk Check it out.
Element 27 Echo Barnes for Hotel 10. Element 27 Echo, Jack. And he saw this trim out. What's up, Coffee Cloud? Welcome. Uh, I can't explicitly clear you to land for Norfolk because it's military so I don't control it. Um, however, I can give you the uh, weather, stroke wind, uh, but it's that light because it seems to have disappeared. Seven echo, that is all received, sir. Thank you. Okay, speedbird 564, resume on navigation again, direct to port on Papa Oscar Tiger, Oscar November. I'm already famous, Michael. <laughs> on, uh, on navigation for speedbird it doesn't matter how many people are yeah. watching, bro. On, I am Oscar already Tiger, famous. November. I'm infamous, I think, is the word I'm looking for. One of those words. There's actually more than a hundred people watching, sir. There's about a hundred and fifteen people watching. I'm broadcasting on YouTube and Twitch. There's only like seventy people watching on YouTube. November nine two six five. Sorry, November two nine six five. Papa London, squawk four seven six four. Now, thanks to everybody for watching. Welcome along, guys. Do me a huge favour. Visit the website charityscenery.co.uk. You can buy like helicopter scenery for X plane and prepared. We don't have any scenery just yet for Microsoft Flight Simulator, but we're hopefully going to have that very soon. But all, all the money raised, guys, all goes to charity. All goes towards the UK Air Ambulance charities. There's a lot of really cool um, scenery you can get for. Very, very, very cheaply. Gary Williams just emigrated over from Twitch to YouTube. Welcome, Gary. I hope you're well, sir. Frank's asking when the new flight sim gets helicopters. Will I fly? Yes, Frank. So 100%, my friend. Mr. Dutch Eagle. I'll definitely be doing that, sir. I'm having a lot of fun on X-Plane with the helicopters though. It just looks fantastic as well. This is Perryville down below us. Hey, Meal says hello on YouTube. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Hit that like button. Or hit that dislike button. If you're enjoying the show, thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, thumbs down. It's the RAF Norfolk just coming up in front of us. This is where the helicopter sleeps. This is where all the rescue helicopters for London, they're, they're all based out of here at RAF Norfolk. The winds we're expecting down there are 140 at 11 knots. Seven Alpha RAF Norfolk. Correction two seven echo. Uh hello seven echo thanks. Thanks again for your help, sir. We'll see you again soon. Two seven echo. Bye bye. Cheers, yeah. Uh fraction eight echo, contact London one two six decibel zero seven five. Goodbye. 
Welcome to RAF Norfolk, guys. Will we take a cheeky watch on the replay? Check, hitting out that replay snatch. I hear you, big dog. Alright, guys, I'm just going to put this so that you, I don't spoil the thing. So, helicopter paused. Alright, let's re rip, 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 rewind. Rip, re rip, rewind. Here we go. Boom. Welcome on board. Oh, guys. See his headset off. Anybody else get really sore ears when they wear a headset, or is it just me? Hey, Squashy Poos, good to see you, big dog. It's a good one, Squash. It's the new Bell uh, 222. This is actually the Airwolf helicopter.
Touching down. So we were shutting the aircraft down, weren't we? All right, well, that's kind of all getting shut down now. Yeah, I need to put it back on, goddammit. Right, um, the generators can go. Inverters can go. We can take off the anti-collision and position light. Number two hydraulics can go. Don't need to worry about the rotor brake just yet. The rotor's still moving a bit too fast for the rotor brake. Um, but yeah, everything can go now. The battery can go. Yeah, what a great little aircraft, guys. Great little aircraft. Let me find out the name of it again. L222X plane. That's it. It's done by a company called Cowan Sim. I will post a link. Hold on. Where is it? I just bought it today. Helicopters. Alright guys, I'll post a link to it here, so you guys can go check this out. I, I really like it, it's a great aircraft. Unfortunately, the, the sound is not as good as the the sound in the GRX design Gazelle, but it's, it's still a great helicopter. The sounds are okay. Um, it handles really well, it looks fantastic, you get quite a lot of liveries with it as well. Let me have a quick look here, I'll show you the liveries that you get with it. So, we'll start at the top, you get the, the this default blue one. And then it's another kind of 2K default blue. Then we get the Air Medic, which is the one we were flying earlier on. Then we get the Air Wolf one. Uh, then we get Calstar, Care Flight, Coast Guard. That's the American Coast Guard one. Looks very good. I'll quickly show you this one. That's a good looking aircraft, isn't it, guys? God damn it! That's one good looking little bird. Looks a little bit like the dolphin. Right guys, that's going to do it for this stream. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all the new guys that joined the channel. My main man, Adrian Martinez. Thanks for jumping on board. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will catch you uh, tomorrow. I think I should be streaming tomorrow at some point. I'm not sure what time. I'll probably do a stream around about lunchtime because I actually do have a... I've got to sort out some adult stuff tomorrow in the morning. So I'll probably see you guys about lunchtime or in the afternoon and then we'll do another stream in the evening. Thanks again for watching Top Gun and Volleyball. Look after yourself, your friends and your families, guys. Do something nice for a stranger if you can. I am not Scott Manley. Alright, we've had this conversation, guys, okay? I'm not Scott Manley. Fly safe.